What is up everyone and welcome to a bonus video. You may notice that this one has been uploaded at a slightly different time to my usual video and don't worry there will be a normal upload tonight so this week you've got six videos which is absolutely awesome and I'm very very excited about this. The um, reason I'm doing this is because as you guys know I rarely rarely pre-order games. In fact I can't remember the last time I pre-ordered a game. I never buy games as soon as they come out but but I decided to pre-order the special edition um, copy of Splatoon with Squid Amiibo. Thank God I didn't pre-order it from Game UK. As you guys know, they had a little bit of a, an accident, to say the least. Um, I ordered mine from Amazon, so I want to showcase what it's like if you order yours from Amazon. It arrived on time. I selected the middle delivery option, not the quickest, not the slowest. This was just standard first class, and it came today, which is May the 29th, which is the day of release for Splatoon. So, let's dig in to the box. This video is not going to be too long because... I want to get it live on the 29th just because I want to be up there on the day of release. Ah, I can see it already guys. Usual Amazon uh, packaging, cardboard box with this papery stuff. There we go. Let's throw all this out the way and there it is. My first limited edition with Amiibo. Uh, Wii U game, which is awesome. <laughs> Wicked. Now this is actually quite a bit bigger than I was originally expecting, but taking a little look around the box, you can see at the top there, there is the Wii U branding, Nintendo, big U on the top in ink, which looks awesome, Splatoon graphics all over the front, and of course you've got this uh, transparent area where you can see the amiibo. On the side it shows you what you get, the Splatoon game plus a squid amiibo. On the back, wow this is cool, it basically gives you, I assume this is the same as what's on the back of the game case. Um, as well as usual stuff, barcode, Wii U branding, Nintendo, etc. On the side, more Splatoon artwork, which is just fantastic design. I love the, the, whole, the whole design of Splatoon, it's just absolutely wonderful. Um, now, of course, I'll be keeping this box because it's really cool and it'll be awesome to look back on. And I hope to get a couple more games maybe like this in these boxes um, in the future. But I, I'm not really a collector. I'm not just going to buy them for the hell of it. Um, of course, these are on average about £10 more than the standard games. So, you know, it was a little bit of a special treat for me because I don't normally splash out on this kind of thing. So, let's open her up. And inside, most of this big box is empty, as you guys can see. Let's take a look at the game first, if we can get it out. Okay, it's a bit tricky. There we go. Ah, yes, I was correct. The back is the same as the back of this box, which is really cool. This is the game, Splatoon. Awesome stuff. Now, I love the way that the ink kind of flows over the Wii U banner. I think that looks fantastic. And I don't know if I've been through this in a video before, but I, I, I love the design of the Wii U game cases. I think the blue that they've chosen is stunning. And the fact that it's blue on the spine looks really nice. And they give you uh, normally like a, a colourful type logo. As you can see, there's a little squid there and stuff. It's uh, It's... A really nicely designed game case in my opinion. If you t if you compare it to like a PS2 game case where they all have white spines and just black writing, these look a lot better. Um, but of course I believe PS2 games are only like that in the PAL region. And I'm using uh, PS2 as a comparison because they are in my opinion some of the most boring game cases. Now here we have my first ever Amiibo guys which is extremely exciting. Um, these are quite a bit smaller than standard Amiibo cases, I believe. Whether the Amiibos themselves are smaller, I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, um, it's all got Splatoon branding and graphics all on the top. And then on the back, it shows you the usual Amiibo um, NFC scanning procedure. A little bit more Splatoon info there. And there is the Squid Amiibo. Now, I've never opened an Amiibo before. And I do know the best practice to open them if you want to preserve the box. And I would like to preserve the box. Um, now, a lot of people are saying keep your Amiibo sealed because they'd be worth more in the future. Now, there are, uh, there are so many people keeping their Amiibos sealed at this moment in time. Um, 
I doubt the value of them is going to be that much, if I'm totally honest, guys. But here we go. Okay, so let's get the knife cutting down there. My knife is by no means sharp enough, guys. I did have a little bit of a, a mishap on this corner, but nothing drastic. The package is still in pretty much really good condition, which is nice. I believe you can just pull him out from underneath. There we go. Awesome stuff. Had This will be my first time holding an amiibo, guys. So, wow, this is nice. Okay, cool. This is the Squid Amiibo Black Base. As you can see, absolutely awesome looking. If I can focus, there you go. As you can see, the detail is pretty nice in this Amiibo. Now, I know these aren't the most intricate Amiibos, um, but the paint job with the gradients, the different greens, is really nice. And I find it fascinating how, uh, how these are made. I just think Amiibos are a really, really cool little, little thing. And I do hope to get more. The eyes look awesome. It's all one solid piece. There's no separate pieces to this one, but yeah, he looks awesome. So now that we've got him removed, I believe we can put, oh, I love this as well, this bit of foil on the bottom to stop you from uh, scanning, I guess. Now, where do these instructions go? They go underneath and this bit goes somewhere. This bit goes there, so I should be able to feed that back underneath. I do need to get a smaller or some kind of different knife implement to open my amiibos in the future, guys. But for my first try, I think I did pretty well. I've just got this bit of floppy plastic down there so let me throw that to the side and I'm gonna slide this amiibo box back into the main box and that is all kept nice and original the entire box insert comes out by the way guys which is cool now let's dig into the game this is gonna be fairly standard this is just the standard copy that you'd see on the standard version just included with this limited edition. Nintendo actually provide an easy open ring on their Wii U games, but I still find it easier just to bite away at the corner. And there we have it. Now, I've got a bit of plastic in my mouth. <laughs> With the plastic off of the game case, it's just so vibrant. These colors are wonderful. Opening it up, there's the disc. The disc, the disc looks awesome, as well as Standard affair documentation. Let's have a little look. Wow, that's got to be one of the most dullest manuals, hasn't it? But there we go. There's the Wii U game disc. There is the game case. All looking wonderful. There is my Squid Amiibo, which is awesome. And of course, I've got the box, all original. Everything should slide back in nicely. And it should close up. Wonderful, and that's a nice, nice box to keep. Really cool stuff. So guys, that was my unboxing of the limited edition Splatoon with Squid Amiibo. This is a moment in history for me because this is my first ever Amiibo. As you guys know, I'm a massive Nintendo fan, and I, I, I take pride in my N64 collection and things like that. And in you know decades to come, when the Wii U is totally a thing of the past, and it's only you know fanatics like me that are still playing it, I'll remember this moment where I unboxed my first amiibo. I'm kind of a little bit gutted that my first amiibo wasn't a Nintendo character, but at the same time, I'm really happy that I didn't jump on the bandwagon and um, and just you know follow the follow the crowd and, and buy amiibos straight away. You know, I'll buy them as and when I feel I want them and need them or whatever. And I guess. I guess this guy could be considered as a Nintendo character now, possibly. We will see. But here we have it, guys. This is Splatoon. Awesome, colourful packaging. It's just enough to brighten your day, especially receiving a pre-order um, on the correct day. Everything smoothly. Amazon service, absolutely great. One of the cheapest places you can buy it. Um, 
So I think if I pre-order in the future, I will go for Amazon. So I'm not gonna rant on too much guys because I wanna get this video out pretty, pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus video, my first ever bonus video since I started uploading five videos a week. I thought it was cause for celebration. I've thoroughly enjoyed showing you guys what I received. And uh, of course, I will see you later on today in today's video, which is um, nearly an hour and a half long, guys, believe it or not. So you can look forward to that one. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you later.